Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here in our garden this morning. Guys, as you all know, here in the Deep South, and I'm sure, and y'all have told me the same thing, you have lots of problems with uh, squash bugs, stink bugs, and stuff like that on your squash plants. We are no different. We have some of the prettiest squash this year we've had in years. So what we've done is we have a, a agrofabric netting, an insect netting, from a company. We just got a 10 by 10 piece of it just to try it to see over two or three of our plants if it actually makes a difference. And that's what we're going to be doing today is installing this uh, uh, insect barrier netting over our squash. Now, the only thing that bothers us about this is no pollination to the squash from the bees or anything like that. But guys, we've already got some squash on them. So we want to kind of see if this makes a difference in keeping the stink bugs off of them and the, uh, the rest of the insects that attack them, uh, the pickle worms and all this kind of stuff that gets in our squash. And if it works, then we'll see about getting enough to cover the whole row. Because this is not just your typical insect netting. This stuff is a real heavy fabric. This is not like the, the row covering uh, or the, uh, the covering that goes over the tops of plants for frost protection and stuff like this. This is a very heavy woven fabric that goes over the top. Uh, I think it's going to work, but it's only a 10 by 10, so we can only do like two or three plants as an experiment. So we're going to be checking that out. And if you're interested in this fabric, then there'll be a link in the description down below where you can purchase it with a 10% discount. Uh, I think that's a good deal. And also, uh, the Wanda got a little pot from them. That's a little hanging pot you can hang on something other to put little flowers in and different things like that. We have that over at the cabin. But right now, we're going to try to get this fabric netting on here and just see if it actually keeps the stink bugs and the squash bugs and stuff like that away from our squash this year and the pickle worms. So, guys, after this video, you're going to have to keep watching to see because we're going to probably do updates to see how our plants are doing. So continue watching. If you haven't subscribed, reach down and subscribe. If you hadn't hit that notification bell, then hit it because who knows when we'll put one of these videos up. We may do it once a week. We may do it once every two weeks. I don't know. We're just going to keep checking it periodically and doing little videos showing... Uh, how it's working in our garden. So let's see if we can't get this stuff on. Now we're going to be using uh, PEX tubing, 3 8 rebar, cutting two foot lengths, and fabric staples like we use on our row covers in the garden to, to staple this stuff down to the ground so the insects don't get in it. Okay, guys, we've uh, got the netting over it. Uh, it's kind of a little bit crooked and all, but it's the best we could do under the situation. Rule number one, when you go to get netting for something, make sure you get the width that works with what you have. Ten is an odd measurement for us, so we had to kind of like roll a lot of it up under there. You know, if we was doing two rows side by side, it might have been different, but we only have one row of squash, so that's the only thing we're really interested in right now. But I think it's going to work out. You know, this is, it's almost like a screen wire netting, like a, um, uh, a fiberglass screen like goes in your windows at the house. That's basically what this feels like. It, 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 it's, I'm saying it's almost the same thing. So we're going to give it some time. We're going to check it out and see how it works. So stay with us, guys, so that we're, uh, I, I think it's going to work, to be honest with you. Like I said, the only thing that concerns me is the pollination of the squash from bees and stuff like that. If they don't pollinate, then they won't make a squash. But we have lots of squash under there already. We checked, we don't see any bugs, we don't see any insect eggs, we don't see anything anywhere yet. We're just experimenting with these few to see how they do. And if it works out all right, then what we'll do is we'll open this up during the day because most of your insects come out at night to lay the eggs. 
and from moss and stuff like that we'll take it off during the day and roll it back and at night we'll just stick it back so we're gonna see how it works and like i said check the link out down below and you'll be able to find it there in the description 10 percent off if you decide to order thank you guys from deep south homestead